Hey family, it's your sis Lisa. I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a minute. And this is about the second time this year I've been like, it's been a minute, I'm back. But you know what? That's kind of what I want to talk about. Y'all, we are like basically through the year. We have one more quarter left this year. And I know my year has gone nothing like I thought it would, not according to my plans. And I just wanted to talk about that because I'm sure that's a lot of people's story. I mean, with 2020, we were like, I'm ready for 2021. What does it have to offer me? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I think 2021 went nothing the way I expected. And I'm sure some people have that story too, like I said. So I just want to talk about that. Let's be honest. Let's be transparent and get into it. So one of the ways 2021 did not go the way I expected was with my goals. Like I set this list of goals, your girl made a vision board. I put it everywhere, I put it on my computer, I put it on my phone, everywhere. You know what I mean? I even posted it on Instagram. And the first vision board I made, I looked at it about halfway through the year and I was like, these things, one, no longer seem important to me, two, I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I did a little reevaluation, or actually some things I had accomplished, so I wanted to replace the pictures, you know? So then I reevaluated. That was in June. Here we are, October, um, basically, and not that I need to reevaluate again. I'm just like looking at my goals, like, you know what? This may not happen, and this didn't happen because A, God's will, and amen, because we prefer that over our own will. And B, you didn't, you wasn't in alignment, sis. Like, you didn't do your part. You know what I'm saying? So one goal, I've been talking about it on this channel, my fitness journey. Guys, I kept, I kept trying to rationalize, like, I'm going through a lot emotionally. My physical health it just doesn't feel as important. Or I'm going through this, I'm going through that. And I kept trying to rationalize it. I kept trying to make it okay that I was not prioritizing that goal that one, I know is something me and God agreed on and he told me I could do. And kind of needs me to do, to be honest. It's not even just about losing weight. It's just overall self-care and health and prioritizing like my health in all ways. That is like something I need to do and that's important. And at multiple points, I felt myself just like minimizing that. Cause I was like, you know, I'm going through this thing and this doesn't feel important. And that's not great, you know? So that getting down to a size 18, I don't wanna say what God can't do. Um, but at the same time, if it doesn't happen, I know whose fault it won't be. I know whose fault it will be. Amen, it's gonna be mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's because I just let myself get distracted. And in that self-care, and like health thing, I had to understand that's okay. You know what I mean? I am a human being. God knows that. He probably knew she's gonna get a little distracted along the way, but I'm still be with her. I'm gonna tell y'all, the last time I checked in on my weight, I was like, oh great, I still have the weight I lost. We can just keep going. I don't know what happened between then and the end of the summer, but the pants aren't fitting the same. You know what I'm saying? They're a little tight. The jeans are a little snug. Leggings are great, but the jeans are a little snug. So it's just time to get back to that and get refocused on that. But in reevaluating that goal, I have to say, okay, Lisa, you may not get there, but at the same time, what can you do? You know what I mean? So I can start working towards a size 18. I can start just implementing healthier habits. You know what I mean? So that's one way I reevaluated that goal. Another goal I had to reevaluate was a goal I very clearly created myself. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I really, I put some things on my goal list that was like, me and God agree on this, God said this. And then there were some things that like, I just want it and I'm gonna try to like manifest it. And manifestation is great. However, when you're trying to manifest something outside of God's will, it doesn't always work. It's not always gonna happen the way you want it to happen. But thank God he makes a way, he's transparent with you when you ask like, hey, um, why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, so one thing that I had on my list was I wanted to date the specific guy by the end of the year, like together, booed up. What about it? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna hold you in a lot of ways. I've, I don't know if you guys have watched God Told Me Who My Husband Is. It's a whole series I have. You should check it out to get caught up on everything I'm talking about. 
But long story short, I realized what happened and through talking to me my mentor and like a lot of just praying and thinking about it, I realized a lot of me deciding that man was it and deciding that guy was the one was all my want. And while that is like important that you want to be with somebody that you like somebody, it can't be the only thing. So to me, I had to realize that when God said this man is your husband, I think it was more so just like the qualities, the things you feel from this guy are it. And when he grows into something, he's a potential option for you because I do believe there's also a choice. However, I spent so much time fixating on the person and not fixating on the qualities or even just God, <laughs> like just listening to God and his leading and his direction on it that I think I got a little lost in the sauce, you know what I'm saying? So this is a goal that we're reevaluating instead of just like wanting to date this specific person. Do I still want to date and is that a Lisa want? Yes. However, if God, that's not part of God's plan, great. Also though, if he does, great. Absolutely great. I'm just really open to God on that tip, you know what I'm saying? Um, and just really focusing on me and the qualities of a man that I want, you know what I mean? And just completely open. I used to be like, I want him to be this tall. I want him to be, honestly, transparently, I want him to be this race. I want him to be that one, that one, that Like, I had this list of things that I pictured. And honestly, I've let go of all of them except for the qualities God told me. Except for height. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I believe that is a want that I can hold on to. You know what I'm saying? Because God loves me. And if it doesn't work out, it's fine. It doesn't work out. But that is the one want that I am holding on to. The rest of it, she's open to be transparent. That's what we do here. We stay honest. You know what I'm saying? But that's where we are with that one. So this last goal I want to share that I'm reevaluating was fully God said it. And I was like, homie, how? Like, I don't understand. Make it make sense. So he was like, preach a sermon this year. And I was like, I don't wear to whom, who's ordained pastor. Like, I am not a pastor yet. So then I was like, okay, this year somehow I have to become ordained and do this and do that and do that and speak on a big stage in front of all these people and then I can preach. But then I thought to myself, not thought to myself, really through just praying and evaluating and revelation, I realized that a stage is not what God needs for me to preach a sermon. A ordination or even some kind of like check mark from somebody else is not what God needs for me to preach a sermon. I'm currently in divinity school. I took a whole class on how to preach a sermon. If I want to preach a sermon and that's what God wants to lead me to do somewhere, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So does that mean I'll be on a big stage preaching? I don't know. Does that mean I'm just going to do a little YouTube sermon? I don't know. Does that mean I'm going to be preaching to my family or to a small group of people somewhere? I don't know. But I do know that that's a goal that I was like, okay, all these things can happen and then that can happen. Rather than just believing that God can do it whenever and however he wants to do it. I'm just going to stay in my position and keep pressing forward and see what happens there. You know what I mean? So that's our reevaluation. And now I like want to tell y'all what we're going to do about it. You know what I mean? Because reevaluation is good. And when we reevaluate our goals, like it's like, okay, all right lovely this is where we are but like faith without works is dead and also i think another thing i really learned this year is that we are co-laborers with god we are a team the two of us you know what i mean so if i am going after something just me it's not gonna work if god has told me something and i haven't said my amen and come into alignment with it it's not gonna work so we have to come together on something and partner on something and once we do that we out here so we have to remember faith without works is dead but also we need to be operating within god's will so what am i going to do about these three goals you know what i mean i thought that to myself because there are a few other goals on my list that i was like we need to reevaluate but these ones were the ones that really stuck out to me and i wanted to share so here's how i'm moving forward so what I, one thing I've been doing to really like prioritize my self care is like setting a routine for it because I think we're so good at setting daily routines that encourage productivity that encourage us getting all our things checked off our list. 
But like, if you're not on that list with your self-care, with your self-love, then like, you really cannot actually be productive in a way that's healthy and like, actually fun. You know what I mean? So, that's what I've started doing is prioritizing my self-care and my morning routine. So, I'll wake up, go to the bathroom, I like, wipe my face down with like, these face wipes. I have Burt's Bees purifying wipes. Honestly, I went to Target and grabbed the first pair of facial towelettes I could get. I'm not going to swear by them because I've just started using them, but they do the job. They get, you know, the dirt off from the night. And then I spend some time with God. Then I get to the gym and I, you know, work out. I keep it light right now, but I'm going to start building up and being more intense about it. Come home, eat, brush my teeth, do a full skincare routine. And, you know, I also started taking vitamins. So these are the... Ali Multi Plus Probiotic. Just started taking these. I do like them. But the Woman's Multi by Ali, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend that one too. Um, but I wanted to try these because they got a little probiotic for, you know, gut health. Um, so that's really what I've been doing for like self care is just like prioritizing it. Because if you don't make it a priority, like it's not going to happen, you know? In the context of dating and letting God do what he wants to do with this whole man situation, um, honestly, I'm not going to lie, for a while I just stopped thinking about it because, like I said, again, so much going on. But I prayed one day and I was like, God, is there anything I'm missing? And he was like, you need to start thinking about relationships again. And I was like, but there's nobody I'm checking for and all that. But it's like, you know how you prepare? You go to college to prepare to one day get a job. Like not preparing for a relationship and waiting for it is like that. Like, it's not doing that. It's like not going to, not preparing for the job you want. So, job I want is wife. You hear what I'm saying? Um, so, in terms of dating and all that good stuff, um, I was led to this book. It's 31 Prayers for My Future Husband. I'll link everything below. Uh, but 31 Prayers for My Future Husband. Really enjoying it. Um, and... 10 out of 10 would recommend, honestly. And the way I found it, don't make fun of me, it's kind of vain. I Googled myself and I was looking at my book, Living Single. Um, and in this book, this book is definitely more about like knowing yourself and getting to know yourself better. Um, but the re, and I honestly thought about reading it for myself because though I wrote it, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, God wrote this book because I'd be reading, reading some stuff to like share and I'll be like, huh. Interesting. Another thought came up, you know, but I do know where I was when I wrote this book and who I was thinking about when I wrote this book. So I was like, maybe not right now. Do I want to read this for myself? But if you're on your own journey and you, you know, self-love is something you're really working on, I highly recommend this book. Um, for me, I just really want to start thinking open-endedly about my future husband and all that good stuff. So this book has been great for that. And so I recommend you pick up both because the way I found this book was because I was looking at my own book and it said frequently brought together or recommended based on this book. So that's how I found this one and 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, and then what I've been doing in terms of just prepping for like writing sermons and preaching sermons, honestly I haven't started yet but I have a plan. Um, I think I want to really start like weekly just writing sermons and if I preach them great, if not, I have them and it's just good practice. Um, so that's where I am with everything and the reason I really wanted to share is because I think so much like we got we can get caught up in our year and just like what am I even doing what even happened to me so far so just like I encourage y'all to take some time take a step back think like what have I been through this year like what really happened and did it go the way I planned did it not go the way I planned why didn't it did I mess up is God trying to show me something because that's really for me what happened I was just like God nothing and I could list more things but nothing went the way I thought it would and I really just had to think like you know what at the end of the day though that's okay because we all know you know his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our thoughts you know Isaiah 55 8 through 9 reads for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And honestly, if God's thoughts are heaven, sign me up. If his ways are heaven, sign me up. If that's how great they are, sign me up, you know? 
So really just one thing I've been like really thinking lately is like, God, it didn't go my way, but I'm thankful it's going to go your way and it all is going your way. And I really believe that. So just praying to that, receiving that and just making my thoughts, his thoughts. Like, honestly, there are some things that have been going way, like again, not sharing absolutely everything because we don't got time for all that. But there are some things that have not gone my way that I'm just like, God, why? And like, for real, asked him, not like in an upset way, but just like, God, can you let make it make sense? You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. The math ain't mathin', as people say. And he really has shown me, I'd be like, oh, okay. And so I'm working past my frustration and my any offense or anything like that with the thought that this is all part of God's plan. Even the way I'm feeling, even the storms I'm going through, all part of God's plan. Um, there's a church I've been watching lately called Union Church, and the pastor just preached this series about storms. So I'm going to link that below too, um, because it was something I needed. And so if you needed to, it's going to be linked below. Um, and yeah, so I just encourage you guys to take a step back. Think about what happened to you this year. How do you feel? You know what I mean? Check in with yourself. Take a deep breath. It's like, it's, it's been a year. 2021, I'm sure. Like, on a national level, on an international level, we thought COVID would be over. We thought a lot of things. But things are not going exactly the way we planned. And that's okay. Because God has a bigger plan that's bigger than anything we could imagine, anything we could ask for, anything we could anticipate. So I just encourage us all to pray into that. Say, God, what are you trying to show me? God, what did I miss? God, what can I do? And sometimes what he wants you to do is rest. There was a good period. There's been multiple periods this year where he was just like to me, just rest. And that was the hardest thing for me because I'm so used to doing things. But sometimes part of what he needs you to do is your job. Part of your faith work is resting. So whether it's resting, whether it's taking a step forward in something, whether it's just reevaluating your mindset, take that time. Um, and that's what I encourage you all to do. So I hope you enjoyed this little catch-up session, this little reflective session. I hope it helped you. I hope you're going to reflect on some stuff. Maybe I'm going through similar stuff. Hit me up. Message me on Instagram. Message me on, or like leave a comment below, I mean. Um, any of that. I'm dabbling in Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to tweet me, go ahead. Um, but yeah, guys, I love you so much. And yeah, I hope my absence doesn't seem like a lack of love because your girl just been going through some stuff, you know what I'm saying? And just needing to work through it. So as much as God will allow me to share, as much as God will empower me to share, I will. Because I really do have a heart for anyone who's watching this video, truly. Because I think God led you here for a reason. Um, so I love you and I'll be praying for you. And if you need, a, if you have a prayer request, I love taking prayer requests and praying for you. So leave a prayer request, um, message me on Instagram, leave one below, whatever you need. And yeah, just here for you guys. Love you. Talk to you later. See you soon. Bye.